Greetings, friends. As you probably guessed from the name, in this video I want to show a way to write a dog with oil paints. More specifically, let's draw a Jack Russell Terrier breed dog. So let's get down to business. The first thing to do is to divide the canvas into light spots, so to speak, but at this stage I don't have bright and saturated colors. Our dog has orange shades on the muzzle, and the body is covered with white fur, so I use orange-brown paints on the head about a mixture of blue FC whitewash and cobalt purple in those places where the wool is white. Then, after paying attention to the fence made of boards, with a thin layer of purple paint, he outlined the places where there would be a shadow, and on the dog's body he outlined how the strands of its fur would be located. What's next? Then I identified the flashing spots on the wool and drew them with a thin brush using a mixture of white and yellow ochre. I painted a little grass with blue FC, grass green, cadmium yellow and Mars brown, returned to the dog and began to look for different shades in its wool cover. With an oval brush number 4, I added shades of blue and purple, quite intuitively we make strokes in the shape of wool. With the same brush, I outlined the illuminated areas. At this stage, it is important not to draw every wool, to offend, as it were, the mass and shape of how the wool lies. Now the work on the painting will consist in finding different shades, imitating the coat, as well as correcting the shape and bringing the dog's muzzle in order. As we saw initially the drawing was quite obscene, I decided that I would correct it in the process of drawing. And these big eyes, I made them specially bigger so that it would be easier not to give a normal shape when I draw wool around the eyes. Then I ran out of free time and had to postpone the painting for 4 days. After drying with a transparent layer of orange paint, I enhanced the color on the dog's head. And as for the light wool, then again you need a lot of shades of white mixed with blue, purple, yellow, red and brown paint. I work with the thinnest brush zero, but I do not prescribe each wool, but as if I mark those hairs that stick out of the total mass of wool. Working on a dried painting, it is much easier to write with clean paints and make a separation between the general color and a separate smear. The paint from the previous session simply does not mix with the fresh one. The work is quite painstaking, but I like it. While prescribing the dog's fur, let me tell you a little about how I wrote the eyes. Dogs often have a black rim around their eyes, it emphasizes their brightness. But the eyes are also not monotonous, their upper part is in the shadow of the eyelids and eyebrows, and the lower part will be lighter, and contrasting highlights will give them a visual sense of gloss. Here are the final strokes of yellow and white flowers in the grass, I did not specifically prescribe them so that attention was only on the dog's muzzle. And this is a ready-made version of the picture. By tradition, the description contains a link to an article with a photo of step-by-step -step writing, and I thank you for watching to the end and hope for new meetings in the next videos.